Welcome back, everybody. This is Glockman4519, back with another ROM overview. Uh, as you can tell by the screensaver, this is Pure Nexus CMTE version. This is the latest update uh, that was just released uh, not too long ago, a couple days ago. Um, I've had it on, uh, but I just haven't had time to do the video, uh, and I wanted to make sure that everything was running as smooth as uh, Pure Nexus always runs, and it is. So it's about time I got the video done and out of the way, so let's get into this. Uh, we're going to scroll down to About Phone. Uh, you're going to see this is uh, Android version 601. Um, and it is, um, I am running uh, the Elemental X uh, kernel. Uh, not because I have to, uh, but I like the Elemental X kernel. I am doing some testing with that. Uh, the kernel that comes with this ROM is an outstanding kernel by itself. Um, and it does not force encrypt. I highly recommend that if you run this ROM, run the kernel it comes with. Um, uh, but the uh, the version of this ROM is called 601-2016, uh, uh, March 8th, uh, CMTE. Um, I'm not going to get into all of the settings I normally do, like device or uh, your, you know, your developer options, security, and all that. Uh, nothing has changed in that from all the other videos that I have did of this uh, ROM. Uh, what I'm going to hit on are what have changed, and that is in the Pure Nexus settings. I will go through all the settings on this, <laughs> um, and if you want to see what some of the other settings look like, uh, just watch one of my other videos, uh, and I go through them in uh, in detail. Um, but there were a couple changes made, and I, I definitely want to go through this. Uh, these are your lock screen settings. Um, uh, you know, pretty cool. They've got quite a few features down here that you guys can go through. Uh, change up your media cover art. You know, all that. Um, and then, you know, your wallpapers, reset your wallpapers to stock, uh, it's all there. I'm pretty sure they even have blur on here somewhere. Uh, I really didn't look that close, but maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Maybe not. Uh, notification drawer. Uh, this again is going to be your notifications. Uh, that means when you pull down, you have your little notifications there. Uh, this is going to be your settings for that. Uh, you actually can set this up for your right or left uh, for a quick pull down. I have it set up for the right. So if I touch on the right and pull down one time, the whole thing drops. Uh, if I pull down one time from the left, you just get notifications. Uh, then, of course, you have your smart pull down if you want to run that. Uh, I don't run that, but it's there if you want it. Uh, you have uh, your uh, show weather, force expanded notification, your time contextual header, which I really, really love. Right now, I have it set uh, under the uh, standard mode, uh, but you guys can set up the polygonal, uh, which would make it look more like that. Uh, I think that's ugly myself, <laughs> just my opinion. Uh, so I run the standard or default uh, setting. Uh, then you have your quick settings. Uh, this is where you configure all your tiles. I'm going to show you guys all the tiles slowly that I have set up. And as I normally do, I'm going to show you the tiles that I did not put on. Uh, so as you can see, there are quite a few tiles to choose from. Um, you know, th this is great. I love options. By the way, I love the AOSP um, quick settings as opposed to the CM. Uh, the CM quick settings to me look cheap and half-assed. Uh, I like the settings done with AOSP where they're all in one and, and a nice long, you know, scrollable it just looks clean uh, i don't like swiping left to right and all them little hash marks on it and it just looks like crap so uh I'm, you know i'm just glad this is aosp and i'm glad that the you know the drop down looks the way it does uh of course you have your number tile your number of tiles per row you can change all that uh, advanced location brightness slider all that's here guys uh so there it is uh we are going to go to the recent apps this is where you're going to set up this. Um, and, of course, you can actually have it where it's showing only the running apps. Uh, and you can have your immersive recents. I have it in full screen right now, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, that's my favorite of all of them. Uh, you can run it with a search bar if you like. Uh, I don't like the search bar. Uh, I don't usually keep a lot of them running at once. Uh, then you have your clear all button. Where do you want to put it? Um, all of that's there. Uh, and then also they have the Slim Recents option. So if you guys are one of those that rock that old Kit Kat look, it is there um, and as customizable as ever. 
status bar. This is going to be uh, your battery settings, your clock settings, all that. And if you go into your battery settings, uh, right now you notice I have my, my battery status style to hidden. I am running the 3 minute mod. It is baked into this ROM and it works 100%. No issues, just so you guys know. So if you want to run the 3 minute mod, go to the Play Store, type in 3 uh, 3MINIT, all one word, uh, battery settings, and it'll come up. Uh, then, of course, you have battery bar. Uh, you can either not have it, status bar, top nav bar, or bottom nav bar. Uh, I always run mine the status bar. Uh, it, it does, he does allow you to have color on that, and you can change the thickness. Uh, carrier label. If you guys want to run a carrier label, uh, this is where you go for that. Clock and date. These are all your settings for your clock and date. I would really love to see some color in this. Uh, Mr. Beans, if you are watching this, and I highly doubt that Beanstown106 is taking the time out to watch this video, but this would be the only change I would like to see in this ROM. Everything else is perfect. Uh, it's just some color. You know, let, let me color my clock. Let me color that really cool icon you have over there, which I'm going to get to. Uh, let's see, you have your network trafficking. Again, guys, if you want to see if you have data coming in, going out, or just one way, um, this is where you would set that up. Uh, you would actually pick which one you want, uh, and then you can uh, set it up for, you know, how long you want it, uh, you know, shut off after inactivity, all that. That's where you do that at. Uh, again, that would be cool uh, if that had some color added to it. Uh, all right, status bar icons. You guys can choose what icons you even want to show in your status bar. This is a baked-in uh, marshmallow feature, um, so uh, this is where you're going to find that at. Uh, the next thing on the list is my favorite so far of the update, and that was the Pure Nexus logo. And they do have a logo in here. I'll shut it off, turn it back on so you guys can actually see it. See, it, it is in the upper uh, left corner. Um, I think it's pretty cool looking. Uh, again, I would love to be able to color this. Uh, a nice uh, dark blue or even a red, something like that would look nice on that. Um, then you have your double tap to sleep, brightness control, you know, all that's underneath there. Navbar settings, uh, you can enable it or not. Um, you just go down through here, set it up for double tap to sleep, kill, you know, then you get your kill app button, all that. Uh, then at the very bottom are your buttons and layout. Yeah, you can physically move them where you want it. Uh, and then you also have uh, your nav bar dimensions. Um, I have mine set at 52. Uh, I really like the fact that there are that the number 52 is there. Um, the 48 DPI setting is just not... I mean, I, I'll run it if I have to, but I like the 52 setting. And these are your nav bar widths. Next up is the power menu. Uh, there are quite a few options on here. Uh, again, this was one of the features I really liked about the Pure Nexus project, uh, was they did not skimp on the power menu features. Uh, volume rocker. Uh, for those of you that listen to music and like your skip track and all that, this is where you're going to set all this up at. Next up is your display settings. Uh, you have your, expa your expanded desktop, wake on plug, uh, battery light, and notification lights. Uh, those are your battery light settings right now. You can change that. I think you can change that. Um... Uh, Yes, you can change that. Um, and then, of course, you have your notification lights. Uh, this is how I have mine set up. Uh, it does not blink. For those of you who don't, you know, that I know you're going to ask, uh, it doesn't blink. It comes on, it stays on, it's solid. Uh, I think it's just a Nexus 6 thing. Um, it's an LED light. It does not use much power. Uh, so, it, you know, I'm just glad that it comes on and that I can change colors. Uh, okay, media notification. Um, prevent audio ducking. Uh, this is, for those of you that don't know, what that means is if you're watching a video and you get a notification, uh, even if you have your heads up turned off, um, you're going to get that notification sound. 
uh, that you got the notification to begin with, and it's going to lower your volume of that uh, video or game you're playing. What this does is that prevents that from happening if you want to run it. Uh, then you have your camera shutter sound, uh, double, you know, your, uh, your double tap power for camera vibration. Uh, this actually uh, allows your power button to vibrate whenever you double tap it uh, when it turns your camera on. Uh, heads up notification if you want to run them. Uh, of course, you have your less frequent notification sounds, battery saver notification, and then your low battery notification. And we have the clock settings. This is your widget clock setting. Um, you can get in there, you know, just do what you want with it pretty much. Uh, then under that are your weather panel. I highly suggest that you set this up um, and you want to put a location in there. Uh, don't leave it blank. Um, at least for me, where I live at, it seems like lately, um, if you don't have uh, something in here, uh, it just doesn't seem to, to work very well. So I always put that in there, and it works great for me. Uh, colors, I'm going to put bright blue uh, just to match the theme, and bright blue again. And that's pretty much it. You have your tools and info, but this is pretty much going to tell you, you know, like app offs, phone, uh, stuff that you can, that, that, you know, was in some of the settings uh, before uh, you have your Wi-Fi information, build prop editor. Uh, by the way, do not mess with that unless you know what you're doing and make a backup first before you change anything. Uh, again, this was the Pure Nexus project, guys. Uh, this was the latest update. Um, I am running a totally brand new theme. Uh, it was out. It's not brand new to the market, but it's brand new to me. Uh, this is a one of the gradient themes. Um, I usually run this one as gradient uh, but they've come out with a couple more uh, for cm13 uh, i actually ran this one on another video uh, but i wanted to do the blue <coughs> excuse me on the pure nexus project i just thought it fit everything right so i'm running right now the status bar the nav bar and the style which style is going to be your um uh, play store stuff like that uh your keyboard um, and I, I'm also running the icons on this. Now, my fonts, uh, I'm still running the fonts uh, as transparent black. Uh, that's where I like to run my fonts. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. And actually, to be honest with you, I'm also going to go with Vibrance for my nav bar. Uh, I just like the look of that for my nav bar. So... Uh, to go through this theme real quick so you guys can see it, because I think it's a really cool theme. Uh, you've been seeing this throughout the video. Uh, this is what your uh, quick settings look like, your quick settings tile. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, this is your settings. I haven't had any issues at all with this theme. Uh, this theme's really fluid. Um, it works great with this ROM. Uh, Gradient pretty much works with pretty much all the ROMs that I've tried so far. Uh, this is, of course, your phone. Uh, dialer. That's what your dialer looks like. It looks really cool. It's got that whole marbled look to it. Uh, your quick contacts. Uh, contacts themselves. This is the way they look. Uh, those favorites. And then, of course, or those are your contacts. And then you have your favorites over here. Uh, calculator. I know the calculator is themed that's what the calculator looks like uh and messaging yeah uh that uh is on my end it's not on uh the pure nexus project um okay uh google plus is themed this way that's what it looks like with this theme uh you have the play store uh, the Play Store looks like this with this theme. Uh, YouTube. Hangouts. And I don't think Calendar is themed. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. Well... The only reason is, is because I am running um, the uh, Total Blackout uh, <laughs> Google app, so that's why that's the way that is. And I'm actually running the clear ones, so 
Uh, that's what, why that is. And then, of course, Gmail. Uh, this is the way it looks on this theme. I think it looks really, really cool, actually. And that's about it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I was going to go over here. Um, again, guys, this is the Pure Nexus Projects, uh, the CMTE version. This is the latest update. I tried to keep this short. Um, I'm getting better at shortening things up. But, again, that's it's just the way I do my videos. Uh, you either like them or you hate them. So, uh, uh, again, I just want to uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers. Um, and if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next one.